Okay, here's a video of the latest project that I just got through making and you can see it's a pair of stands and what they're used for is rotating a wing assembly for working on it and painting, calling wing rotisseries. You can see on the wall I've got a pair of wings for my Bearhawk project. They're big and they're bulky, but they're not especially heavy. It's really nice to have a safe way to turn the wings while you're working on them or while you're painting. I have a friend of mine, Rob Taylor, that's building a bear hawk. He's a lot further along than I am. And he is getting close to painting his wings. So we collaborate a lot on a lot of the ground support equipment that we make. And so uh, even though I'm not ready for them, I went ahead and made a set of uh, wing stands for Rob to use. And then afterwards, it'll be me. So as you can see, the, how I constructed them, uh, just regular steel, nothing special. I left them unpainted because I figure once they get in the paint booth, they'll get paint on them and get painted, and that'll save me the trouble of painting the darn things. Uh, the base is uh, nothing special. It's just some uh, steel tube. All of this is scrap. Uh, and uh, the square tubing there that you can see at the bottom is actually two pieces of angle that are flipped uh, 90 or 180 degrees to each other and just tack welded. So it makes a real strong base. And then I have an upright with square steel tubing. And then the, to slide in and out, it's a piece of unistrut that I had left over from a plumbing project. You can see I've got two pieces. It was about five feet long. I cut it in half, and that's about two and a half feet in each side. What's nice about the unistrut is that it's strong, and also the holes are in the same position or in the same uh, spot on each, uh, on each side. So if I raise this one for uh, slots and then I put a pinch bolt in here to keep it from sliding down into the tube, I can do the same over here. I can slide it to four and then put in a bolt and hold it in place and that way the wing will be even on uh, each end of the wing. Now this thing here it pivots freely. This thing here it just turns around. Actually it just goes uh, 360 degrees, no problem. And you can see these, uh, this little assembly here, there's another one over here. What that does is that captures the wing spar where it mounts to the fuselage. The wing spar, uh, the mounting point slides in here and then there would be a bolt that goes through and captures the wing spar front and back. I left these purposely wide so you can slip in some washers in case you have different wing spars. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to sell these things later on and somebody else can use them. And also you can put some cushion on either side of the spar so the spar itself isn't damaged while it's in the rotisserie. The pivot point is very simple. It's just a piece of uh, one inch rod through a piece of black pipe. You can see how that's uh, all attached here. And I got some nylon washers that I got at my hardware store. And everything is pretty much adjustable. One unique thing about this particular rotisserie is I wanted to be able to index it. There's a lot of different ways to be able to index uh, things that rotate. Uh, there's a pinch bolt uh, setup I have for my fuselage rotisserie, and I'm not really fond of that. Uh, you have to put a lot of pressure on it, especially when there's grease in there, to get the thing to, uh, to lock down tight. Well, I wanted to, wanted to actually use bike parts to make this rotisserie. I had all these designs and uh, dreams about uh, taking a bike and cutting in pieces using headstock, uh, where the pedals go, bearings, and all this other stuff. And the whole reason why is because I wanted the sprocket, because it looks like a real nice way to be able to index something that turns. Well, uh, it didn't work out, and the only thing that basically survived my creative process is the sprocket, because that's really the whole thing that made me want to uh, try to tackle this project. As you can see, the sprocket, I've got a little boss welded on here on a piece of rectangular tubing. And it lines up with the slots in the sprocket. So I can actually move it anywhere I want. And that boss is threaded for a 3 16 uh, bolt, or correction, I'm sorry, not 3 16 3 8 bolt. And then all you have to do is, I'm not very good left handed here, uh, take and thread the bolt in. And I'll probably make a nice little screw-in type thing, maybe with a handle or something like that on here, maybe a shorter bolt. But it locks it. I mean, it's tight. It's not moving anywhere. 
and that's captured in and out. So anywhere that you position the wing, it's going to be locked in. And there's a number of places that you can put it. You can see the whole outside of the sprocket is just full of positions to rotate this thing through. So you can just put it to wherever you want it, wherever you want the wing. And then you just line it up, put your bolt in there. I'm just not very good left-handed here. Screw it in and it locks in place. And that'll keep the wing from turning. Now you can work on it in position. If you want to shift it, all you have to do is just pull the pull the bolt out and then move it to wherever you want. I suppose you could actually put a pin in there as well. But uh, I decided with the bolt you could actually tighten it up if you want to. Anyway, that's my idea for wing stands. It's not a unique design. There are other people that manufacture these. Uh, but uh, shipping to Alaska is expensive and prohibitive. So we do the best we can.